CBS 21 Political Insiders with Rob Hanrahan. And we're joined by Republican strategist Charlie Giroux and, of course, Mark Singler, our Democratic strategist. Guys, uh, let's talk a little bit about Roy Moore, the controversial Alabama Senate candidate, the Republican accused of uh, actually sexually assaulting or having sexual contact with an underaged female, just accused. He denies these allegations. But today, late today, Charlie, the president came out and didn't endorse him, but came up short of that, saying, get back to me next week on that. But Moore denies the allegations, and therefore, better than having a liberal Democrat in the Senate, he would rather see Roy Moore there. Well, that's really the question for the voters of Alabama. Do they want an ultra-liberal Democrat to represent them in the Senate, or do they want somebody else? And that's really what this is going to boil down to, Rob. It's pretty clear at this point that Roy Moore is not getting out of the race, so this will fall to the voters of Alabama to make a decision. In this case, pretty fully informed. The facts are all, or at least the allegations are all out there in front mm -hmm. of them. The denials are there. Bluntly, I think that Roy Moore should have and still should go before the cameras, meet the media, meet the voters of Alabama face to face and deny each of the allegations specifically. He's trotted out lawyers who frankly I don't think have done that good of a job for him. Mm -hmm. I think it's as an old crisis communications guy incumbent upon him to do it himself. But as I say, at this point, it's pretty clear that this is going to go to the jury of public opinion and the voters will get to make this choice. Uh, Mark, this is not just one person who came forward with these there, types of allegations. There's at least nine of them. And you either believe the women or you don't. They're credible and they deserve to be listened to. And I just disagree with Charlie. I have to say that the president's comments today, when you think about it, are disgraceful. What he's saying is, sure, the guy might be a child molester, but he's my child molester. That's not the standard that we should use to elect people to the United States Senate. He should come out forcefully, call for him to step aside, like most of the other credible leaders in the Republican Party have already done. Well, Charlie, he's up against an uphill battle in the Senate if he wins the race. I mean, senators like Pat Toomey, other Republicans have come out and said, you know, early on when this first came out, you know, we, we're, we don't want him in the Senate, frankly. If he gets elected, he will be seated. There's no question about that. There's no legal impediment to his being seated, Rob. The question then becomes, does the Senate move to expel him? It's a very high bar because then what the Senate is doing is replacing the will of the voters. In this case, it would be the manifest and expressed will of the voters. So it's a two-thirds uh, uh, vote that's required there. And historically, if you go all the way back to the beginning of the Republic, you can't find a senator who has been expelled for behavior that occurred prior to their arrival in office. That's the point I was hoping you were going to make because I wanted to ask Mark then. Um, what about Al Franken then? This right. latest allegation, he was already a senator when he's accused of at a Minnesota State Fair of groping a woman during a photo. Yeah, I don't want to be accused of being favorite, you know, favoring the Democrat. Uh, what he did was bad, but he took the right action by saying, let's have the ethics committee investigate it. And, and that's the right approach. He's a sitting senator, like John Conyers is a sitting leader in the House, and they're both going to be uh, reviewed by those bodies. And that's the right thing to do. Uh, he also said something that we have not yet heard from President Trump or from Roy Moore, and that's, I'm sorry. He admitted it, said so, uh, and, and said, look, I'm going to face the music. That's a much more mature way of handling it, but he will have to face the music. But again, Roy Moore continues to deny the allegations, and saying I'm sorry would be an implication of maybe that's I correct. did it. So that's probably why we haven't heard that. Charlie? Mark, thank you both. You can check out our Political Insiders every Sunday. Join us for Face the State, Sunday mornings at 8.30, right here on CBS 21.